What's going on guys, Victor here from Dexter Outdoors and I got another how-to filet video for you today. This time we got an Atlantic spade fish. This is about the average size we get down here in Florida. And the knife we're gonna be using today is this six inch flexible filet. I'll have it linked below so you guys can see exactly what knife I'm using. As with any fish, what I like to do, start over here by the head and I like to work my way down towards the tail and kind of outline the body. And these fish are kind of awkward because they're very round, kind of like a, like a saucer. So once we have that initial outline from the head to the tail, take my knife and I'll go back from the tail up towards the head, making sure my knife is in contact with that spine at all times. So I make sure that I feel my knife on the bone. That is very important so you don't miss me. You see how nice this knife just glides along. So now once we get to the backbone, what we're going to do is we feel for that soft part. This spade fish's soft head meat ends about here. We're going to cut into it, go around this pec fin, and go down to the belly. So this is going to allow you to lift this flap up. They're going to have a set of pin bones right here. You break through those pin bones, you're going to have to use a little muscle. And once you have those pin bones exposed, you can take the tip of your knife, go on the other side of the backbone's fish, of the fish's backbone, like just like so. Continue to do that. So now you have the backbone exposed, you're over the ribs. Continue to go over those ribs, just like this, all the way down. Send that up. And there you go. So as you guys see, they have kind of an awkward filet. I mean, it's definitely not your traditional snapper grouper. As you guys see, it's, it's oddly shaped. So you really just got to feel the contours of the fish itself. Really make sure your knife is on the spine. And they even have this little indentation on the filet right there, which comes from this bone area right here. And we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna take the tip of my knife into the head and just outline this fish. Going from the head all the way to the tail. You can kind of spin them like a little frisbee. Okay, I'm gonna lift this up, making sure my knife is in contact with the spine and just feeling along the bones. And it's not a race, especially with a kind of an awkward fish like this, you kind of got to take your time to not miss anything. Okay, now that we're at the backbone once again, I'm going to flip them around, find the soft part of the head meat that ends up right around there, go down to the belly right there. Now we should be able to lift this up and I'm gonna break through the pin bones once again. So we break through the pin bones. Now we can go to the other side of the backbone. Go over these ribs. And this is why I like this little flexible knife because there's a lot of maneuvering around in this filet. So it's nice to have a little bit of flex to it. And there you have it. So that is your spade fish all filleted out. You guys see how that light is coming through that spine? It's how you know you didn't miss any meat. We line up our fillet at the edge of the fillet table, starting from the tail to the head, we're gonna skin it. And I like a little bit of a longer knife for skinning, but you can totally use that knife if you'd like. So right here by the tail, at a slight angle, going down along the skin. And just like that, we flip it around. There's your skin. There's your filet. The only thing you have left to do is there's a set of pin bones that run along the bloodline right here. You go on one side, and then you go on the other side of it. You lift this up, 
you lift that up, you cut it out. Now you have a boneless, skinless piece of spade fish ready for the grill, ready to bake, ready to do whatever you want. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're interested in the knives I used today, like I said, in the description box below, and I'll see you guys in that next filet video.